this video I'm going to work out one implicit differentiation problem. It's going to have some trig functions in there. This would typically be found in a Calc 1 class right shortly after you have done all of your trig functions and you've done some implicit differentiation. All right, so um, for starters, I'm going to, there's, there's nothing algebraically here that I need to do any type of simplifying, so that means I'm going to take the derivative of both sides right away. So I'm going to show that I'm taking the derivative by showing d dx, all right, around that left-hand side. So 4 cosine x sine y, okay. So that's just telling the person that's looking at your work, oh, hey, you're getting ready to take the derivative of both sides. Okay, so that's all I'm doing there. I usually make my students show that so that, whoops, that should be in red, so that um, it's telling the person, hey, I'm getting ready to take the derivative. All right, now this right here, I've got a constant out here in front, so pretty much I can ignore that until much later in the problem. I just need to focus on this right here. All right, this is clearly a product in there, so I'm going to have product rule right here. When I take the derivative of the 1, that's just going to be a 0 on that side. So I'm going to keep the 4, okay, because we're just going to kind of let that hang out in the problem while we do this. I am going to use ddx notation throughout this because I think it's going to be a little bit easier with it being implicit differentiation. So you have the first, which would be cosine x, all right, times the derivative of the second, so d dx of sine y plus the second, which is sine y, times the derivative d dx of cosine x. All right, now it does make that line kind of long there, but what it does is it clearly lets you see that product rule right there. The first times the derivative of the second plus the second term times the derivative of the first. All right, we said the derivative of the one's going to be a zero right there. All right, now in my next line, I'm actually going to do those two derivatives. My four is going to stay put. All right, cosine x is going to stay put. Derivative of sine is cosine. All right, so cosine y. Now we've got to do the chain since it's implicit differentiation, and I use y primes. Okay, a lot of uh, people here will use a dy over dx to indicate that first derivative. That's fine. All right, then we'll have the sine y. All right, derivative here, derivative of cosine is going to be a negative sine, so times negative sine. All right, with the x, and since it's an x, we don't have any chain there and then equal to zero. Okay, at this point, um, I mean, you could do a little bit of cleaning up here when we pull this negative out here in front. Um, let's go ahead and divide both sides by four and clean up all in the same thing. So if I've got that four sitting out there, I don't want that four sitting out there anymore. So let's divide by four, which is gonna allow me to cross it out here. Dividing over there by four is just gonna give me a zero. All right, so let's kind of clean this up here a little bit. Um, so let's go cosine x times cosine y. Oh, let's go ahead and leave the y prime there. Let's just make that a minus sine x times sine y. Rearranging those a little bit might not be too bad. All right, is equal to zero. Now, <clears throat> I need to solve for y prime. My, the only y prime in the problem is right here. So this term is going to stay on the left-hand side. This one needs to go to the right. It is a minus, so I need to add it to both sides. So um, I'm going to have a cosine x times cosine y times that y prime is equal to, move it over, add it, it'll become positive. So I'm going to have a sine x times a sine y. All right, I need to solve for y prime, so that means all of this, I can divide both sides of the equation by that, and I will have solved for y prime, so y prime is equal to a sine x times a sine y over cosine x times cosine y. All right, now a lot of times my students are going to want to stop right there, <coughs> but hopefully you've got enough of your trig identities memorized that you recognize, oh, hey, this is sine over cosine, sine over cosine, we can switch that out for a tangent. So a much cleaner answer would be y prime is equal to tangent of x times tangent of y. 
All right, so actually a pretty straightforward implicit differentiation problem. All right, definitely using that DDX notation in there just so that you don't miss a chain. All right, and then you can clearly see product rule by doing that work there. Uh, definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, don't forget to share with your friends so that they can benefit too. And be sure and subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Okay.